something needs to change. Something needs to change, and I might make that happen today. Hi guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little stressed, and you know why? Recently, I have decided to put it upon myself to fix my mental health. I need to fix it. So, I put it upon myself to do that. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to make my summer amazing. Summer is coming up very soon. It's, only, it's June 13th, the day I'm filming this. The summer's coming up, so that means I can make my summer 2021 best one. I can be... I could make my summer 2021 bucket list. It's gonna be so much fun and so much fresh and so much fun. I need to have a good summer. I just do. And that's it. I just do. So, where to go for me? How do I do this? Because I need a good summer. We're gonna make that happen because if I can have a good summer, my mental health will be amazing. And then when I start school in September, I'll be happy. Actually, I'll probably be sad again after. And I'll probably be depressed again after, but like, it's whatever. Let me have my two months of happiness this summer. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make my summer 21 bucket list. I'm gonna do it with you guys. It's gonna be so much fun. And you guys can get your ideas for summer 2021. And we're all gonna have such a good summer. Hey, I'm so excited. We're all gonna have such a good summer. And I want it to be a group thing. I wanna be a group ever. I want us all to have a good summer and all be amazing and happy and fun and fresh together. I want it to happen. So if I'm trying to improve my mental health this summer, you guys are gonna do it too, okay? We're in this together. So I was gonna make a, like, use a board and like write it down like this for you guys. But my handwriting is really bad and we're not gonna do that because we don't speak of it. We don't speak of my handwriting. I think I honestly forgot how to write since I started online school. Like I don't remember how to write. I don't. So that's an issue. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna use a Google Doc because why not? Why not? Let's create a nice Google Doc and let's let's create this list. So I'm so excited. So I'm on Google Doc. Let's start with the title. Ultimate Summer 2021 Bucket List. Woo! Wow, that title is amazing. That title is 10 out of 10. That title is A plus worthy. That title is the best title to ever exist. I don't know any other better titles and I think I should start a book. I think I should start being a writer. I think I should start... That should be my new career. I think I should be a writer. I'm gonna name the subtext. Not What is it? Subtext Summer 2021 Bucket List. Oh my god, I can't type properly. I can't type properly. I can't type properly. Like, why can't I type? Yay! Okay, now let's make that bold, italic, and it all up here. Oh my god! This is so weird to be about it. Should I put it in colors? Should I put it in colors? Ooh, what if I put it like in a, ooh, what if I put it in like a box of some sort of like that? And then what if I make the text white? No, I don't really like that. I don't like that. Let's just keep it simple. Let's just keep it simple and fun and fresh. Okay, so what do we start with? I thought having white friends would be my advantage. I thought I was doing charity work, you know, by being friends with these white people, and that at least since I'm doing this charity work and being friends with these white people, that it would be for my advantage and I would be living the best summer ever with these white people. But guess what? None of my white friends have boats or cottages or anything like that. So where do we go from here? Do I just end the friendship? Because I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm doing my charity work and you guys don't give me anything back. I thought that this was a duo movement. I thought that this was something we do together. You know, I thought this is we were in it to win it. You know, I thought it was a win-win situation, but I guess not because you guys don't have a fucking boat or you don't have a fucking fucking cottage. What am I supposed to do? I don't have that. You are supposed to. You're white. You are white. Like you should have your my cottage and the boat. So why? Why don't you have it? We need to improve that. We need to improve that that summer. We need to improve this. I need to go to a cottage. I need to go on a boat. Oh, that should be the first thing on the list. Go to a cottage slash boat. That should be the first thing that I'm going to do this summer is go on a cottage slash boat. Great. Oh my God. I love that. Okay. But next thing. I want to start a new hobby. I want to start a new hobby this summer. So start a new hobby. I love that. I love that. I want to read a book this summer too read a book because school kind of ruined my idea of reading and I was like you know let me let me let me let me let me fix that mentality of mine because that's not a good mentality reading should be good reading is good for your mind reading is good for you reading is good for you I guess you move you know like it's, it's just so good and friend fresh and we need to be reading books so ooh, I want to learn how to cook learn how well I can't learn how to cook all this summer so learn how to cook something because I can't look like I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. I, okay, whatever. Here's the thing. What is there to do in my small town? Nothing. Because 
there's nothing here to do in my small town. So if I want to do anything, I probably have to go to Toronto. Make new friends. Listen, I because listen, I'm planning all this stuff, but I don't have any friends. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I literally, I literally, I literally, I literally have no friends. I just saw you fun because all my friends live across the ocean. I have no friends, and none of my friends will be able to do this with me. I don't want to do it alone. I don't want to be a loner. I'll do it. I don't want to do it alone. So I need new friends to do it with. And yeah, I need to make more friends alone. If you want to be friends and you live in my area, please hit me up, please, because I don't need friends. I just. Speak, it's sad. It's sad that I have no friends. I need friends. I see all these friend groups on TikTok and they're so having so much fun and I don't have that. It makes me so jealous. <laughs> so please, who wants to be friends? Because I can't do it anymore. I hate the winter. I want to go to the beach. Let's go to the beach, beach. Because um, for the past few summers, I haven't been going to this beach because I, you know, I kind of get scared. I kind of get anxious at the beach. I don't know why. I just do. So we're going to go to the beach this summer when we're going to be so hot. I'm gonna make a, a surfer boyfriend, maybe? I wanna adventure at 3 a.m. Adventure at 3 a.m. You know why? I never have done that. I've never done that. You know, all these TikToks, all these YouTube videos, everything of people being like, I'm leaving my house at 3 a.m. I'm brown. I can't do that. But I want to this summer. That's gonna happen. I'm going to. That's. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna adventure at 3 a.m. So DM me on Instagram if you wanna do it with me because I wanna do it. So I wanna do a staycation with my friends. The friends I don't have, yeah, because I don't have any. But I'll find some. That's a goal. That's a goal this summer. See, it's on the list. So, okay. So I sat down. I sat down and I put a couple more ideas down, and I want to show you guys because they're so good. I am such an inventive summer bucket list genius. I this my okay. So my first is staycation with my friends. If you don't know what a staycation is, I want to like book a hotel with my friends I don't have that I will make this summer because hot girl summer, you know, we're gonna make friends. So it's gonna be fun. You st basically just stay in a hotel and book one and just have like a spa day, go to the pool, you know, maybe we'll book one in Toronto and see the city and it'll be all fun and fresh. Oh, fun and fresh. You know, it's gonna be so amazing. I wanna do one of those. I wanna hit 10K on YouTube and Instagram, so you guys should follow me on Instagram. I typically say me, and you guys should subscribe if you're watching this video because that's something I really wanna do. I know that probably YouTube might not happen, but I know Instagram might be able to happen, so follow me. I love you. If you do it, I will love you forever. I'm gonna take the train to new places. So, I can't drive yet, but if I get friends that can drive, then it'll be easier, but I wanna, I wanna take the train. New, to new places, new random cities I've never even been in or heard of and do that this summer and adventure, you know, be all spontaneous. I wanna go to a drive-in movie. I've never done one of those. I've been to a drive-in concert, but not a movie. So like, I feel like it'll be fun and fresh and so cute and aesthetic. Maybe if I can find a boyfriend to um, take me with, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because I just don't think it's gonna happen. So I gotta give that up because I gotta give that dream up because it's not gonna happen. <laughs> swim, swim, swim. I want to swim this summer because I used to story time. Story time. Um, I used to be such a professional swimmer. I used to be on a swim team, and I used to do a lot of swimming. Uh, I think that I should reinvent that hobby or redo that hobby. You know, one of my goals is to start a new hobby, but I want to pick up that hobby back up because I, uh, after COVID, I forgot about that hobby. I want to bring it back up because swimming is fun. Swimming is exercise, and yeah, I want to work out and get the body I want because I'm not doing it for anyone. I'm doing it for myself, and I want one. So maybe that's on my summer bucket list, and that's what it is. I just added it, so it's on my summer bucket now. So whatever. I'm starting to run out of ideas, guys. I'm starting to run out of. The, uh, I'm starting to run out of ideas. I'm starting to run out of ideas. I fear. Ooh, ooh, campfire with my friend oh that's so cute or a boyfriend like i listen you guys know i love love victor that's one of my favorite shows it is my favorite show and there was a scene where where they went to the campfire and they were all dating someone that like i don't want to spoil but like they were at the campfire it was so cute so i want to do that I Why does my life suck so much? Why do white people get everything? Where's my boyfriend? Where's my friends? Where's my nice adventures? I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting frustrated. I just want to have a good summer. I want to improve my mental health. And it's not going to work if I don't have friends or a boyfriend. So like, ooh, midnight food runs. That's a good idea. You know why? Because I love food. 
but like not like a restaurant, of course, because those aren't gonna be open, like fast food, like McDonald's at midnight. None of this is gonna work. You know why? Because who can drive in my friend group? No one, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. I mean, we're all getting our licenses this year, but like still, like, hurry up. Road trip! I wanna take a road trip. I don't wanna take a road trip. That's what I want to do. I want to take a road trip. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to take a road trip together. Is that fine? That's fine. That's fine. We're going to be doing it. So who wants to go on a road trip with me? Because I'm going to be doing that. Ooh, take the take the subway. In Toronto, there's a subway and I've never taken it. Like, I think I have actually taken it. But I want to take it more. So take the subway and go shopping. I want to go shopping in Toronto and take the train or take the subway there. And yeah, because again, my small town has nothing, so I have to do all of this in Toronto. So I want to go shopping in Toronto and get cute summer clothes, even though I already have some, I want more. So go to an amusement park and go on a roller coaster. Okay, listen, I'm scared of roller coasters, but not the heights. Let me explain, let me explain, let me explain myself. Oh my gosh, let me explain myself. The stomach feeling you get when you're going down a roller coaster, I hate that. I can't do it. I really cannot. So I'm gonna face my fear this summer and go on a roller coaster, okay? Okay. Maybe if I have a boyfriend to do it though. If I have a boyfriend and my boyfriend's holding my hand while I go down the roller coaster and like Lord is playing in like in my head, you know, like, you know, I'm just trying to imagine stuff. I'm a hopeless romantic, so. Pull some all-nighters with my friends. Ooh, that'd be so much fun. That'd be so quirky and fun. Don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I have another idea. I have another idea. I think I want to go cliff jumping. But what do you call it? What do you call it when you're jumping into the water? Like, I, obviously, I'm not gonna do from high because it's dangerous and I don't want to die this summer. I mean, maybe that would be good. But I mean, like, we'll think about that later. But yeah, cliff jumping. I feel like that'd be so much fun with your friends and a boyfriend. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for hot girl summer. Try new foods slash eat healthier. I think that's a good thing. You know why? Because I'm not the healthiest person. I do like my junk food and I want to try new things this summer. I want to try new foods and I want to try to be healthier. So I'm kind of scared for that though because I'm very picky. I'm a very picky eater, but whatever. We're just going to do it. Ooh, ro go roller skating. Go roller skating. Go mini golfing. Yes. Go to a water park. Yes, that's such a good idea, such a good idea. Keep them going, keep them going, keep them going, keep them going. Go to a farmer's market. Ooh, light fireworks, light fireworks. Ooh, I'm so smart and creative. Maybe like a vacation, if, if, if it's okay, if it's safe. For COVID, a vacation would be nice, you know. Dance, dance in the rain and be main characters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, dance in the rain or in like a tunnel. In a, in a tunnel, you know what I mean? Like those main character little moments, like in those movies, like the main characters when they're like running around with their friends in the tunnel or in the rain, that much, that's such a main character moment. And yeah, I wanna do that, hello. Ooh, stay, stay in your backyard in a tent. I don't have a backyard, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I mean, I do, but it's not, like not really a backyard, so I don't really know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna just make it work, so. Declutter slash organize everything. You know, maybe I can declutter my room, declutter my phone, declutter my laptop, everything, declutter and organize everything. Ooh, yes, yes. Be productive. No, summer is not for being productive. I don't want to put that on my list. Random acts of kindness. Yes, yes. But I think we should do random acts of kindness this summer and just be kind to others. Maybe we can make this year, uh, these past two years a little bit better by being nice to random people. So random act of kindness, maybe make friends with a stranger. Ooh, I already have make friends though. So we're just gonna say make friends with a stranger. I think I need to come to the last couple list. Hear me out, hear me out, okay. Stop yelling at me, stop, stop yelling at me, stop yelling at me. Okay, listen, listen, listen to me. I know it's hot girl summer, I know, I know. I know, I know it's hot girl summer, but please like, excuse that. Like pretend it's not on the list. Just let me be, just let me be a little bit. Just let me be, please, just let me be. Please, please, please let me be. Let's just ignore it, okay, please, because I'm getting a little desperate, so. Boys, hook me up for my DMs. I think I'm gonna end my list with be happy. Be happy and live in the moment. Okay, that's a great way to end my list. You know, improve my mental health, be happier, don't be sad, don't be crying over him anymore, you know? Hot girl summer, like be happy and live in the moment and have the best summer ever. I think that's a perfect, perfect way 
I think that's perfect. What? We created my hot girl summer list, my ultimate summer bucket list. So I'm gonna do all of this this summer and I'm gonna vlog it all. It's gonna be so much fun and fresh and fun and fresh and fun and fresh. Listen, I also need friends to do it with. So if you wanna be friends and you live in my area, DM me on Instagram and let us talk and become besties because I need new friends. Let me know what your summer bucket lists are. Um, comment down below what you have planned for this summer. Give me some more ideas. Maybe they will help me and help other people that are looking in the comments. So comment your lucky list and let's, let's be happy this summer guys i know life has been hard recently and you need to take care of yourself so let's improve let's be happy this summer let's live in the moment let's 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 be happy that's it just take care of our mental health and be happy this summer that's basically the ultimate thing we can do this summer to take care of ourselves um i just want to let you know that me and my friends started a podcast it's out on all platforms we're gonna upload episodes every sundays and we i hope that the podcast can help you guys get through whatever you're going through i'm really excited and i really love the podcast and i really hope you guys are excited and love it and yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have the best night, day, whatever. Remember to follow all my social medias down below. Yeah, and yeah, take care of yourselves. I love you. Yeah, I hope you have the best day. Okay, I'm gonna end it now. Kisses. Again. Bye. Bye. I love you. Oh my god, I love you. I don't want you to go. I'm gonna be hugged. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh my god, I don't want you to go.